Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the date functions in Excel. So let's go. Okay, in date functions we have several different examples and so let's start with the first one. The first question asks us to find the today's date. So we have a very simple function for that which is called today. It doesn't have any parameters, we just leave it blank like this and it just gives us the today's date. 20th of February 2017. Okay. Second question asks us to find the day number of this date or any date you would you can choose specifically. So I write the day function like this and select the day. It is 20. Or I can change any uh, I can change this date anything else and it will adapt automatically so month function and year functions works in a similar way so when we write the month function and select our date it will give the month number two and year function gives us the year 2017 okay the fifth example is a bit a combination of these information we just learned. So uh, we have a dates table and years, days and months are separated like this. You may have this kind of cases and you may want to find the dates from this separate data. We have a date function for this purpose and it asks us to find the year, month and day. I can select the year from here, the month from here and you see it doesn't have to be sorted you can select from anything anywhere else and the day from here it just combines these and create a date here I copy and paste to find the dates for each row this is okay and in the last example it asks us to find the maximum and minimum date in this area and also the day difference with the, uh, between the maximum and minimum day we write maximum function which we have just learned from the previous videos and select my region similarly I write minimum function and select the region so it gives us the maximum and minimum days how can we find the day difference actually let me show you something Excel stores these date values like like these serial numbers so when we find the basic subtraction it will just find the day difference think it like a basic minus sign from the maximum date and the minimum date so day difference is like this and let's check our answer it seems okay. Good. In the next video, we are going to learn the LAN function in Excel. So keep following. 